Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Scorpio Cat Tarot. Hope everybody is doing well and you're in good health and blessed financially and everything is just fabulous for you. This reading is going to be for the lovely Gemini for the week of September 29th through December 6th. And Gemini, let's see what we got going on, shall we? Okay, so two of wands. So you see this guy's like gazing longingly at this ball in his hand. He's wanting something. He's, he's kind of wishing for something, okay? And the two uh, wands, in, ter in tarot two always means like a choice. Uh, it could be two different people. It could be two different paths to take. But there's always like more than one choice here when we see two, be it two wands, two cups, whatever. So you're wishing about something, Gemini, you're wanting something, and you possibly have a choice between two different options here. Queen of Pentacles, okay? So she is all about stability, security. She is protective, um, <clears throat> resourceful, um, practical. She is, the Pentacles are our Earth sign. So that's going to be a Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo. So you could be dealing with one of those people, Gemini. I don't think that jumped. I think I dropped it. <laughs> Difference. Okay. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. So you could be working towards something. This is hard work. Dedicated to something. So you're working towards something. I just noticed that the Two of Wands, look, he's wearing Uggs. See his little Ugg boots? <laughs> So with the Eight of Pentacles, you're working towards something, okay? That jumped, and it's the devil. So you feel tied to something, bound to something. Um, it could... The devil is indicative of a lot of different things, but it, it's like toxic energy, okay? So it could be... What's the word? Self-indulgence. It could be lust, greed, envy. You know, all of the negative aspects of ourselves are embodied in this card. With these two people being tied together, you could be in a relationship or in some kind of partnership with somebody who's maybe not the healthiest for you, okay? The magician you're trying to manifest something you're trying to make something happen i feel like that ties in with the eight of pentacles here you're working towards something trying to make something happen ace of cups so this is this is a beautiful emotional fulfillment. This is the beginning of a new relationship or something that is very emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay, this is an offer. You see the hand coming out to offer it. The cup is overflowing with emotion. The dove means, you know, harmony and peace. Um, so this is something, I think you're working towards something that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. And you have two different paths here, and you're trying to decide which one to take, but you feel definitely bound to something that is possibly not the best for you. 
Mm -hmm. And the wheel of fortune is changing, it's turning. Okay, so again, manifestation, working towards something, the wheel is turning. There are changes coming for you, Gemini, definitely. Okay, that is the uh, Page of Swords, my forehead itching. The Page of Swords, okay, so pages bring messages, right? And Swords is communication, logic, thoughts, ideas. So somebody is trying to, or you want to communicate a new idea or thought, or you need to communicate something to somebody. Or I think somebody wants to tell you something you feel stuck you feel bound unable to move you feel stuck in a situation i don't know if it's with a person or possibly in your career i mean i've been getting nothing but career readings for you gemini so and you know what i find with tarot is until until you take action, these readings tend to repeat themselves. I mean, until something happens to make this wheel move. I mean, we just kind of beat the dead horse. <clears throat> I found it in my own personal readings, too, very often. You know, sometimes it's like, oh, if I hear that message again, you know, <laughs> but I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Or the other person involved is not taking the action needed to make things happen. Something's going to die. Not literally. <laughs> Don't call 911. <laughs> the way things are right now, the way you know it is going to die. That That's not going to be resurrected the same way again. This is the death of the old ways and rebirth. This is Scorpio's card because we transform and we like do this several times a year. It's ridiculous. It's a transformation process, basically. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like you're working towards something. You're trying to make something happen with the magician there, the wheel of fortune coming, the... Page of Swords. You want something to happen very much here, Gemini. But you're feeling stuck. You're feeling bound. That's two. We're going to take two. <laughs> These are just flipping all over the damn place. All right. Hold on. Give it a quick shuffle. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the five of pentacles. So this could be financial hardship. It can also be having somebody turn a cold shoulder to you. See, these people are out in the cold. It could be metaphorically or it could be like physically. But um, metaphorically, you could feel like on the outs, maybe um, at your job or perhaps you're not communicating with your person and they're giving you the cold shoulder. Um, but this is definitely like despair and not in a good place. Okay. I feel like it's work related. I do. Because I'm not really picking up on another person's energy. Yeah. It's going to end. It's going to end. So with both of these here <laughs> is gonna end <laughs> okay so that one you know this 
you know this intuitively you know it she can be secret that's the high priestess she can be secretive so there could be secrets but i feel like this is um the energy of intuition and just knowing somehow and i think you know the end is coming you feel it you sense it the world so good things are definitely coming to you okay after this ending good things are going to happen for you okay that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled because you're not right now you're not happy you know you're feeling bound and stuck and out in the cold and it's just it's not a good vibe at all and you want to make a change but you're feeling stuck and bound like you can't right now that is the knight of wands okay so i think what you so he is all about action look at him he's got his arm in the air He's riding in like there's no tomorrow. He's ready to mess some stuff up. He's not playing around, right? But you could be not wanting to be reckless, okay? This is also kind of reckless. Like he's charging in there like, you know, he doesn't know what he's coming into. I feel like that's your energy, Gemini. You're afraid to make a move or you feel unable to make a move because you don't know that your other option is necessarily better so i think you're trying to avoid reckless decisions and you're just trying to be wise and take your time and think things through that's too many I'm trying to think things through but you know you're you're an air sign and that's what air signs do they they're very logical and they make calculated moves, you know, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. You guys aren't going to do anything without putting, looking at every angle, every option, every pro and con, taking it out under the microscope, weighing it, dissecting it, you know, and then you make a move. Okay, that's just the way you are. You're the deep thinkers of the zodiac, you know, and you, you help to balance the deep feelers like myself. Yeah, oh, but you do want a new beginning. Look at that. Okay, that's creation. That's a new beginning. But you're not going to do anything um, recklessly or without thinking it through. And I think that's what you're trying to do here. Yeah, but there's definitely going to be forward movement. It's going to happen. I don't see a tower here, so I don't think your hand is going to be forced. I think you're the one that's going to make the decision. I think you are eventually going to get to a point where you feel like you can't do it anymore. And you're going to make the change. Yeah. That's a new journey. That's a new path. Yeah. New beginnings. Definitely. See that they're offering you, um, and it's just not making you happy anymore. And you see this guy's or this lady, I don't know what that is, but they got their head down, they're withdrawn, they just they don't want it anymore. And I feel like that's you in this situation, you're just friggin' over it. Yep, page of pentacles. So somebody's going to bring you communication of something that's going to bring you stability and, you know, you'll feel better. So Gemini, again, <laughs> career reading. I don't think I've had a love reading for you guys since I started my channel. Do you guys date, Gemini? <laughs> do you, is all you do work? I'm just trying to be suspicious here. Anyway. I think you're, you're going to come across a time where you're going to have to make a decision between two different paths 
I think you're working towards freeing yourself from the situation that does not make you happy. It's not the best fit for you. You know, I, I see change happening, manifesta manifesting, forward movement, new beginnings, taking action, new journeys, new paths. It's coming. Okay. So hang in there, Gemini. And when the time is right, you know, you'll, you'll take action. But you know when the time is right, Gemini. I feel like with that high priestess there, you know it. You know, and you're wise and logical, and you're not going to make any rash decisions. So that's what I got for you for this week. Okay, and I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.